Welcome to another episode of Freedom on Fire. I'm your host, Robert Bob TV Brown. Everybody wants to be the president. I should go ahead and take a shout out. Nope, because I got a pass and I wouldn't be shying away from my pass. And I'd be like, yeah, I did it. Mm -hmm, I did it. Probably do it again. I said it. And yeah, I said it. I'll probably say it again. Probably say it 10,000 more times. So I'm not looking to run for office. And, uh, <laughs> At all, cause I am flaws, full of flaws, full of flaws, full of flaws. I've, man, in my past, I've grabbed them by the pee. So no, I would not make a good president. And, um, you know, I, <laughs> I've done it all. So, and I can't shy away. I didn't, I didn't just inhale. I smoked up some weed, smoked it up. So I, I couldn't be president. And I'm telling y'all, smoke weed. Mess with women, you know, you know grab them by the P, grab them by the T, you name it. You know, I, I was a misogynist back in the day. I, what can I say? But back to the lesson today. I just did a story how The Rock said he is really considering running for president. Yes, that's right. That's right. That rock right there. The Dwayne, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, formerly known as Rocky Maivia in the WWE, changed his name to uh, Rocky Johnson Jr. Then he went to the went to the Rock, and now he is the People's Champion. Uh, so many names that he's been through. Top movie star, all that. Great guy, wants to run for president. A not so great guy who wants to run for president. Steve Bannon is reportedly considering a presidential run. That's right, Steve Bannon, who said he was Donald Trump, top aide, top advisor, president of Breitbart, right wing, alt right newspaper, who's pretty much of uh for white people. I wouldn't say that, but um, no, nah, you know, I wouldn't say that. But this guy right here, you don't want this guy for president. Now, what I think he's doing, he's gonna use this move. To try to make Trump think he's going to lose his base to him. He's trying to remind Trump that his base that he got right now is because of what I've done to help lift you up with this alt-right news publication. So, is he really running for president? I doubt it. But then again, I thought Donald Trump was running just to make the right go even righter. I didn't really think that this guy would actually win. So I am not discounting anybody from winning any election right now because the people are so desperate for a true leader. And uh, But Steve Bannon is not it, Doc. No, no, Steve Bannon is not it. And Steve Bannon is going to use this move to try to remind Trump, slap him in the face, so to speak, kick him right in his behind, put the belt strap to him, and remind him who is the daddy. Steve Bannon reportedly told an advisor in October that he would consider running for president if Donald Trump decided not to seek a second term. So he's trying to he's trying to put that pressure on Donald Trump to seek a second term. Now, dude, <laughs> we'll go back to this. Bannon expressed worries that Trump has lost a step. In other words, Trump ain't one of us no more. He's not a white nationalist. He's been taken over by the deep state. He said Trump is like an 11-year-old child, he reportedly told a friend. But a greater concern was the fact that Bannon knew Trump stood a real chance of being impeached. I don't see why they got that. There's no evidence for it. And who told the writer that? Bannon didn't tell the writer that. Steve Bannon tries to win over black voters with his brand of politics. That's another article. In a private conversation since leaving the White House, Bannon said Trump only had 30% chance of serving out his turn, the magazine reported. So he didn't even believe in Trump. He believed that the people that are around Trump is going to stab him in the back. Still, according to the writer, Gabrielle Sherman, Bannon and Trump have maintained close ties since Bannon left the White House. In fact, the two often speak on the phone. Ooh, whoop de dip de doo In private conversation, since leaving the White House, Bannon said Trump has, oh, I just read that. <laughs> um, Bannon praised Trump during our conversation. 
Sherman wrote. He said that he's the best orator since William Jennings Bryan. He doesn't deny he was unhappy in the White House. What, man? You need to pump your brakes. Donald Trump, the best orator since William Jennings Bryan? Oh, Obama is not one of the best orators. Ronald Reagan is not one of the best orators. Now, I'm not being biased, but I'm talking about people who got speaking skills. Bill Clinton was not... Come on, Doc. Come on, man. Come on. That's crazy. Senior Benjamin uh, from the Broken Universe is a better speaker than Donald Trump. Get out of here. Broken Universe is um, Broken Man Hardy reference from the um, uh, uh, pre-WWE years of wrestling. Uh, you, you'll get it one day. This is what Bannon said. I am a revolutionary. But despite his closeness with the president, it's no secret that Bannon has enjoyed being out of the White House. He feels that he is, he's, he wells more power outside of the advisory role. It was always a job, he said, of his role in the Trump administration. I realized in hindsight, I was just a staffer, and I'm not a good staffer. I had influence. I had a lot of influence, but just influence. But now outside the White House, I have power. I can actually drive things in a certain direction. Now, let's start there. Uh, what do you mean by power? Okay. Bannon, number one, wants to run for president because uh, he wants to uh, uh, kind of scare the crap out of Republicans and scare the crap out of uh, Jared Kushner or scare the crap out of Donald Trump's son because they, those three people have their own hopes of becoming president, the Trump boys and uh, Trump's son-in-law, Steve Kushner. I mean, uh, Jared Kushner. So that's Steve Bannon just... Messing with them. I could use the F word, but you know I try not to cuss. Try, try, try. Trump is just effing with them. That's all to it. Bannon is effing with Trump. Oh, if you don't run for president, I'm running. So now they're going to pressure. They, they, they want to. The Republicans definitely don't want Steve Bannon in there because they can't manipulate Steve Bannon. So they're going to encourage. They're going to try to um, encourage Trump to be. Like a lightweight version of Steve Bannon, because we don't want Steve Bannon coming in. They know that Steve Bannon was responsible for the Trump base, and he, if he, if he developed it, he can bring it down. And Steve Bannon understood that, and that's why he said, "Me being just an advisor, uh, I'm not that kind of dude. I, I, I mean, I don't mind advising, but I don't advise. Uh, I don't like advising up. I like advising directly. I don't. He's not a." person that like to be bossed over that's why he feels more comfortable at Breitbart because he will power there because he is right now Breitbart news problem is with that doc is um you're no revolutionary Bannon you are revolutionary but not in a way that's going to lift up all Americans not in a way that it's going to put all Americans on even playing when it comes to housing, when it comes to businesses, running businesses, getting loans, the whole nine yards. You're not a revolutionary in that area. You're in a revelation, or a revolutionary as in maintaining white culture, white domination, white imperialism, uh, white nationalism. That's where you are. I wouldn't say imperialism because you, uh, you're a nationalist. You, don't want us going over there fighting to foreign wars, but you definitely probably want us to go into fighting wars, um, culture wars in America. This guy want to run for president too. So we got the Rock, we got Steve Bannon. Now. I'm pretty sure I get an article on uh, Zuckerberg soon, and maybe Oprah. But uh, this guy says if Trump not running, I'm I'm running. You talking about one of the worst things could ever happen. Bad enough, you try to impeach this knucklehead name. Oh, excuse me, Lord. Bad enough, you try to impeach Donald Trump, Donald J. Trump, President Trump, out of office, which is going to give you Trump ten times over, a smoother version, Christian version, 
of Trump. And when I mean Christian, I mean overbearing, uh, theocratic rule type Christian in a democracy. Theocracy and democracy don't go together. You got to pick one of the two. All right. This is democracy. So you don't want that guy. And you definitely don't want Paul Ryan, who's supposed to be retiring because he's going to get his butt whooped this year. And he's trying to save face because he has a future of being a president. And he can't look forward to being a future as a president when he's got Eric Cantor out. He's going to end up stepping down to save face so he can run later, maybe in 2020, against Trump. So you got all these people running for office. So please, people, don't buy into Steve Bannon crap. He's no revolutionary. He's a revolutionary in the wrongest type of order. You know, we had people that revolted, like Saddam Hussein revolted against his brother. He's a revolutionary. And... His organization end up torturing and tormenting people, his own people. His own people. So please, hey, 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 come on. Think about some of this stuff that you're doing. Steve Bannon is not good for this country. Donald Trump is not good for this country in my book. Hillary Killing was not good for this country. Bernie Sanders did have ideas that was good for this country. Jill Stein, definitely good for this country. The Rock, uh, I don't know what Rock believes and what Rock pushes. Uh, we'll see one day. Um, Mark Zuckerberg, the best thing he got is the uh, maximum wage thing. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm really funny about these people because all they talk... Bannon himself is talking about power. Whenever a person starts talking about wielding power, there's the egomaniac to the tenth degree, and you don't want an egomanic, egomanic, or maniac uh, to the tenth degree running for office. We already got one. We don't need. We don't. We had that in Hillary Clinton, a egomaniac. Trump is an egomaniac. Bannon is an egomaniac. Bernie didn't have that much of an ego. He was truly a servant, servant uh, person. But hey, I got my problems with him too. All right, I'm done. Steve Bannon running for president. President Bannon, Psh, get get out of here. But hey, if the Democrats are stupid enough to run Joe Biden or Tim Kaine for president, we gonna have either Steve Bannon, if Donald Trump do not decide to run, or Donald Trump. The only thing, only light I can see in that tunnel is if the Rock run Republican, and I, I would, I would go over to the Republican Party just to vote Trump or Bannon out. But I will not vote for Rock in the general <laughs> if he uh, do run as a Republican. I probably support him in the primaries just to make sure Donald Trump and uh, Steve Bannon and some other nutcase don't uh, get in that office. But in the general, I'll probably vote against him if he doesn't have good policies. But nevertheless, all right, guys, keep your eye on these people running for president. Check them out. Come on. Man. Stupid, man. Stupid. But listen, this is what will happen. The Democrats will foul this up, running some bland candidate that can't win for nothing like a Tim Kaine. But we'll go over that article next. I'm Bob TV, Freedom on Fire. Peace. Hey, um, thank you for watching the webcast. By all means, make sure you like, subscribe, and share uh, these videos. Go to YouTube right now and hit the notification button and hit the subscribe. And uh, if you're interested in supporting the uh, channel, uh, by all means, there's um, a Patreon link. I will put a PayPal link, and the money toward that goes toward um, equipment, things like that. And last but not least, make sure you look at two sections down below. Uh, one is called Get to Know LSD membership the other one is get to know LS the opportunity what do you mean LS LS is a program that provide uh, called legal shield that I am an independent independent representative of it has not that company has nothing to do with my views uh, I fell in love with this program about a decade ago I've been doing this uh, for over a decade offering the services uh, to people the benefit and connecting people to the services putting them in a position where equal justice under the law is not just on the Supreme Court building it is actually becoming a reality in their lives by having this memberships and this with this organization not only will you be able to know about your rights in a certain area but you'll know about how to exert and execute your right with the power of attorney 
top rated attorney backing you no matter where you go without worrying about all this money coming out your pocket and things like that so get to know uh, LS the memory financially you can help contribute this program by becoming a member um, some of the proceeds of um, being a member of LS um, goes toward uh, Freedom on Fire and the Rob Report and the Rob Report I'm Robert Bob TV Brown I thank you for being a huge support to what we do here I'll talk to you soon peace